I'm Milton Long. Welcome to another edition of That Money Show. On this episode, we're going to look at how greed and fraud brought down an electronics empire. Crazy Eddie. Was he crazy or just plain greedy? From one small electronics store started in Brooklyn, New York in 1971, where at their peak, there were 43 stores doing $300 million a year in sales. How was he able to fool the public and Wall Street for so long? Many people from the East Coast Tri-State area remember those commercials. Feed the heat! Feed the heat with a fan or air conditioner from Crazy Eddie. Get the guaranteed lowest sale prices anywhere on electric fans and air conditioners. It's going to be a long, hot summer, and the prices of electric fans and air conditioners are going to go up, up, up with the temperature. So get an electric fan or air conditioner on sale from Crazy Eddie now. Shop around. Get the lowest sale prices you can find. Then go to Crazy Eddie and he'll... Beat them. So be cool and beat the heat. See Crazy Eddie now. His prices are insane. You either love them or hated them. And what they remember most is that frenetic pitchman who was actor Jerry Carroll, who played the part so well, many people believed he was Crazy Eddie. Who was the real Crazy Eddie? Eddie Antar, a New York businessman who engaged in everything from skimming money, fraudulent billing practices, to securities fraud. In 1990, Eddie Antar cashes in millions of dollars of overinflated company stock and flees to Israel, but was returned to the United States in 1993 to stand trial for securities fraud. His conviction was overturned, and in 1993 pled guilty to another charge, was sentenced to eight years in prison plus numerous large fines. He was released in 1999. For that money show, we'll see you next.